On the move again, Concorde test flight plane MSN-1 that went into service back in 1973 before becoming a presidential aircraft is back in the spotlight. Its last flight was back in 1985, but now its magnificent past and role in civil aviation history will relive. Its final destination is Aeroscopia in Toulouse. It's a new aerospace museum that will become home to dozens of aircraft that emerged from the factories in Toulouse over the decades. Key funding for the project has been provided by Airbus Heritage to highlight the vital and proud role the region and the airplane makers workforce have played in the aviation industry. Concorde is an iconic aircraft and uh, Concorde uh, since the beginning, 45 years ago, uh, has been considered as a kind of, uh, yes, a god of the aeronautic. So uh, we are sure, we are convinced that this aircraft will bring a lot of visitors for the museum. Airbus is involved in this uh, project because for us it makes sense to be part of it. It's part of the history of Airbus. It's our roots and of course uh, five years ago Airbus decided to uh, create officially a dedicated department, Airbus Heritage, to promote our history, our roots, our iconic archives in this museum. This Concorde has been given a facelift, the interior redone, a fresh coat of paint and new colours. The public will be able to go on board. It's easy to forget that the supersonic aircraft was able to travel between New York and Paris in just three hours. Amongst those greeting the Concorde at its new home, members of the crew that once flew it, full of emotion and proud that new, younger generations will get to understand just what an amazing aircraft Concorde was, tell nothing has quite replaced it yet. Ah, bah, c'est un avion sur lequel j'ai beaucoup travaillé. Hein, j'ai environ 1300 ou 1400 heures de, sur cet avion en, en essai. Ça sera l'occasion à beaucoup de, de visiteurs, des panas de l'aviation, de voir un bel avion. The large media presence, along with members of the public who came deliberately to see the MSN-1 travel to its new home, suggests Aeroscopia has a great future ahead of it. The museum will open in the autumn, and more than 100,000 visitors are expected in the first year.